the Mega Man X5 Taz is still too fast. And the reason I say still too fast is because it already was too fast. And if you saw the last video with Zero, you would know why. But if you don't know why, just watch this and we'll find out. Because this time we're going with Mega Man X playing the game in his own game, as he should be. Because, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is, a. Uh, Mega Man X5, not just Mega Man 5, and uh, of course if you want to know more information about this task, go to taskvideos.org, always the link to the videos in the description, and uh, there's more information on that website, so you should check it out, but first we're starting with the intro stage, Alia wants to cut us off every 5 seconds to let us know something completely useless, I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, Mega Man is completely off screen right now as we uh, get to the end of the stage and face the boss. We see a statue move weirdly. We get the classic warning sign as these PlayStation Mega Man X games tend to have and uh... Zero? What happened to you? Why are you always in a broken mess like this? Why does this keep happening? Oh my gosh, and the statue once again falls apart. It starts to explode Mega Man X style and uh... Moldy Sigma? No! I hate Moldy Sigma. This is the ugliest version of Sigma ever, I'd say. And that's saying a lot. There's a lot of very ugly Sigmas, but this one's the worst. Anyway, or at least the ugliest. Anyway, um, this is obviously going to be different from the Zero Run because as you can see, Mega Man X has no ability to Saber Dash cancel or SDC, but he can use Charge Shots at the very least, which is a little bit slower, but, uh, you know, as we'll see, that will be important. But let's get on to the actual run. So if you don't know what this cutscene is, in Mega Man X5, there's a weird gimmick where you have this weapon you're able to shoot, and uh, if you get it right, you just get to go to the Sigma stage immediately without fighting any of the Mavericks. And um, if you don't get it right, which is like 90% of the time or something, then you just have to fight the eight Mavericks like normal. There is stuff you could do to increase the odds, and there is a way to RNG manipulate it by, by uh, you let the intro play in Mega Man X5, like, uh, I don't know what it's called, the intro cutscene play, and at a certain point you exit out of that, and that basically increases your odds to 100%, so this can be done real-time, the RNG manipulation, but it's very weird, I don't know the exact point where you're supposed to do that, but yeah, we haven't fought a single Maverick, and we are on Sigma Stage 1, and this is one of my favorite songs in the entire game, if not my favorite, but we do have Quick Man Lasers, which most people hate, I don't know why they hate them, I mean, I guess I can understand it, but I don't think they're that bad, but anyway, here we go, we're in the Sigma stages already, and this is why this run is too fast. Again, we don't have Zero, so this will be a little bit slower because uh, we can't Saber Dash cancel through the boss fights. And I think Zero is slightly faster for some reason, I don't know why, and I don't know if that's for sure true, but... Anyway, here we have the Shadow Devil boss fight incoming, guys. I hate all the Devil bosses, well, I like the original Yellow Devil, and I like the Green Devil, but... The Shadow Devil and the Yellow Devil Mark II specifically are my two least favorite Devil Bot. Well, there's also the Twin Devils who I hate. There's the, uh... Don't even get me started on Devils. This guy sucks, though. He's really hard, especially as Mega Man. Zero Saber Dash canceled throughout the entire fight. And Mega Man X seems to be throwing in some lemons in between the charge shots, which I didn't know you could do. That makes a lot of sense, though, getting in between those invincibility frames. But the main reason these fights suck so much is because they're just very long. I mean... You have to wait for all these little cubes of shadow to go across the screen, melt, coagulate back into the, his form, and then there we go. We lose the char shot, his eyeball is in his crotch for some reason, and now we have to wait for it all again. Now, I do think it's different this time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a little bit... No, it's not different. Okay. Never mind. I guess I was thinking of the green devil, but yeah. Zero killed this in one cycle, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I'm mistaken on that, but... Zero killed this a heck of a lot faster than uh, Mega Man X is killing it. He didn't even do it that time. He turned into Dr. Wily. What's up with that? Turning me into Seinfeld over here. At least he's releasing his eyeball more than once per thing. You know, I guess that makes it worth it. But there we go. The Shadow Devil has been defeated. Meaning we're on to Sigma Stage 2, which is full of the color purple. So I hope you like purple. I like the color purple, but... Uh, Ever since uh, Wily Stage 4 Mega Man 2, when there's this much of it, I'm a little suspicious. And apparently, I've learned that uh, this stage is supposed to be a similar layout to Sigma Stage 1 from Mega Man X1, which is a crazy throwback I was unaware of. Thank you to the comment section for pointing that out. But uh, yeah, that's very interesting. So we're just going through this stage, though. It is a very similar layout, if not exactly the same. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but at least the very beginning is very similar. And even this part seems very similar. Obviously, there's none of this. There was none of that Mega Man X1, but... We're already at the end of the stage, and what boss could this be? Surely it won't be another throwback to a different Mega Man game. That would be surprising. 
What could it be, guys? Leave your guesses down below in the comment section. Who could this be? There's... Oh, it's Rangda Bangda. We all know this guy from Mega Man X1. He has three eyeballs. Or, uh, I believe someone said it was a she. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but... Whatever this thing is, has three eyeballs. And we just killed one of them. They're all coming out of the same eye socket. Very strange. I don't believe that happened in Mega Man X1, but this is Mega Man X5 for goodness sake. And two of the eyeballs have been destroyed. And now we should get the spiked floors and the the dreaded red eyeball. Oh, we even have the spiked walls. That's that's a new addition. Oh my gosh. The green eyeball's back. They really changed up the ring to bang the boss fight, but you know what? I appreciate it. We can't just have a one-to-one -one remake. And there's Ring to Bang to Sigma Stage 2 is already done. It's only been like, what, five minutes? Good grief. And here we are at Sigma Stage 3. If you didn't like the color purple, well, hopefully you at least like the color red because, uh, well, there's a lot of red in this stage. There's also a lot of spikes. I don't know if you guys know this, but spikes will kill you. And ooh, actually taking a damage boost here. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. Also opting for the non-armored X I find very interesting as well. Ooh, Zero is able to do a completely different strat through that area. Oh, this is why we're not on Armored X. Okay. I don't even remember what this power does. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but we will probably find out. Maybe it's the Giga Attack. I don't know what gives you the... That's got to be the Giga Attack. They didn't give any armor, so... I don't know. I probably sound stupid right now. <laughs> I haven't played as much X5 as the first three X games, but... Well, we'll find out what it is, surely, because uh, this this boss coming up has got to be somebody important, right? I mean, we just went out of our way to get an upgrade piece. Tass would never do that if it wasn't faster. We see a W in the background. What is this, Dr. Wiley? Zero? Oh, my goodness. Zero, what are you doing? We have to fight Zero, just like Mega Man X2. Oh, this isn't even really a fight. We're just getting behind Zero. <laughs> Walking in between those... Uh, Upwards charge shots as Zero somehow launching out of the ground. And that was pathetic, Zero. You... I expected you to perform better. This really was a lot like Mega Man X2. Zero is supposed to be OP, but now Zero is basically dead. Um, I don't think he is dead. We're loading a cutscene. Uh, maybe we'll find a... Never mind, they both took each other out. Zero did not land a single hit, but despite that, X exhausted himself somehow. Zero's back up off the ground despite being defeated to shoot Sigma in the head. And there he go. He's actually not shooting Sigma in the head. He puts his gun away and he almost T-poses to stand right in front of X. I'm not sure what that's about. Mission complete. Because Zero, Zero has successfully defended Mega Man X. That's cool. And now it's time for Sigma Stage 4 and uh, we have the ultimate armor now, which I guess that's what that capsule was. I... I did not know that gave you the entire ultimate armor, but that explains a lot because that does have the Giga Attack, which is not only faster for uh, traversing the levels, but it also does a lot of damage to the bosses, and we will have to do the refights at some point, I believe in this stage, but jeez, look at the way Mega Man X is doing this, and here are the refights, here we go. Well, I, I call them the refights, but really they're just fights, we haven't fought these guys at all, and while we cannot Saber Dash cancel, we can use the Giga Attack over and over again and do a good chunk of damage out of these guys, I mean... Look at the size of their health bars. These are the largest boss health bars we've ever seen before. And Mega Man X just took it completely out. And Burn Dino Rex or Matrix is dead. I can't say again because it's for the first time. But you get what I mean. And would you look at that. It's Dark Necrobat or Dark Dizzy I believe. I don't know. I always get the names confused. But uh, I believe our strategy is going to be the same. Giga attack over and over again until he dies. It looks like that. Yep, we're, we're basically almost there. Two more, I think. There he goes. There he goes. Mega Man X has killed a Maverick. Again? Now, who could this be? Izzy Glow. My goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. And there he is now. What's our strategy going to be, Mega Man X? Of course. The Giga Attack. I should have known. It's a shame there's no Hadouken or Shoryuken in this game because that would make these uh, fights much faster. But you know what? The Giga Attack does a good enough job and... It seems pretty OP in its own right, so I'm not going to complain. And uh, there we go. Uh, Izzy Glow is dead, and Mega Man X has killed a Maverick again. Squid Adler, you son of a gun. I hate this guy. This, this might be my least favorite Maverick for Mega Man X5, but I did already make a video on that. So if you want to know what my real least favorite Maverick is, uh, you should watch that video. Just type on YouTube the worst Maverick from every Mega Man X game, and then 2 P after it. Surely it'll come up. Surely YouTube search works, right? 
Either way, thank goodness Squid Adler's dead. I hate that guy. What, you expect me to say again? It's the first time he's died. Duff McWhalen, the guy that looks like he has four eyes, but only has two of them on the sides of his mouth. Very strange anatomy there, but I guess that's very similar to a whale. Um, I wouldn't know. I'm not a zoologist or a aqua... Aqua... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not an expert, clearly. But I can tell you, he's dead. For the first time. Not again. For the first time. And now we got this guy. The most medium maverick from this game by far. Even using a charge shot there. Oh, did, did Mega Man X just disrespectfully teabag him? What is this? Smash Bros. Ultimate Online? Is this for glory in Smash 4? Oh my, you did it again! My goodness, Mega Man X, you've gone crazy! And you've killed a maverick again! Oh, Axel the Red. Here we go. What a flowery entrance by this guy. Not even using the Giga Attack? Oh, we just took a second. I guess Mega Man X was just flexing there. I'm sure there's a reason we didn't use the Giga Attack. I assume he was invincible for a little bit, but uh, what do I know? I'm not a Tasser. If you want to learn more about the Tasser, go to TassVideos.org and take a look at this run for yourself. But for now, we know that this guy is dead. Okay, I'll say it. Mega Man X killed a Maverick. Okay, Spiral Pegasus. Oh man, I remember when I didn't even know he was called Spiral Pegasus, so now I can't remember his uh, American name on the PlayStation 1. Oh well. I don't like this guy either. Sure, Squid Adler may be worse, but this guy is also uh, pretty, pretty bad. It's cool that you can use the Giga Attack while flying with him. That's pretty sick, but uh, now this guy is dead and I didn't even know he was sick. Okay, let's move on. And that was the final refight, and we are still in Sigma Stage 4, and Mega Man X is tearing through these balls for some reason. I'm not sure. I mean, Zero couldn't do that, obviously, because Zero doesn't have a Giga Attack, and of course Mega Man X does. And now we have the disappearing block puzzle. I mean, just Giga Attacking right through. Zero had to do some crazy stuff to get past that, but of course Mega Man X has a Giga Attack. Zero does not. And can you blame Zero? I guess you could. I don't know why Zero doesn't have a Giga Attack like that, but, uh, but wow, it's uh, X and Zero's capsule, I, I guess. I, I don't understand why they're there. It's probably some lore I'm unaware of, but um, okay. Once again, I don't know who Sigma is cosplaying as. Maybe Raven from Teen Titans, but he takes that off and uh, what is it, a Stormtrooper without a helmet? I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure Sigma's cosplaying as someone I don't understand. Because uh, unless this is Sigma's true form, in which case, I'm glad you're feeling comfortable in your own skin there, Sigma. But it's too bad you had to die before I could even finish saying that. The Sigma boss fight is over, gamers. That was really fast. Wait, the screen has gone dark. That's never another warning. No. No, this can't be good. This is never good for Mega Man X. Oh my! Giant, disgusting, moldy Sigma head has entered the building! Ew! This is... Ugh. Why is he moldy? Why? It reminds me of that Animal Crossing villager that Ash Snap'em hates. Uh, what was it? Quailson, I believe? I made a video on that with Ash Snap'em on the top 10 ugliest Animal Crossing villagers. So if you like Animal Crossing, check that out. But uh, there's a villager that's moldy. Just like this. I'd say this is worse. Ash Snap'em would probably say the villager's worse. Whatever. The fight is done. He's vibrating now very weirdly. I'm, I'm just glad he's blown up because mold like that is not healthy. Me Mega Man is panting right now, probably because there's mold spores in his lungs. Not good for you at all. You're probably going to get many diseases. And uh, now we're loading something. What are we loading here? Zero? Where did you come from? Z what happened to you? Where have you been? You T-posed in front of Mega Man. Oh my. And then you let this disgusting junkyard Sigma out of nowhere land a final blow through both of your hearts zero jumps without legs and i assume shoots his gun it, he pointed it at least now we have Mega Man x sitting there and uh what is that the ghost of dr light okay well i guess the ghost of dr light repaired Mega Man x there's a giant hole in his chest hopefully he also repaired zero a uh, Mega Man x has zero sword assuming i, I guess that means zero's dead no zero can't die no! You know what? I'm going to make a crazy fan theory here. I don't think Zero's actually dead. I think that Zero hid himself while he repaired himself and somehow survived having a hole through his chest and his bottom half of his body removed. Crazy theory. I know it's crazy. We just saw him die. But uh, I think somehow 
he hid himself while he repaired himself. That's my fan theory, but anyway. That was the Mega Man X5 task with Mega Man X. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always enjoy these task videos, and it was nice seeing the super fast Mega Man X5 task featuring Mega Man X in his own game. And I know some people like to say he's actually called X, and you can call him X. A lot of people in the game call him X. But if you guys remember Mega Man X1 in the very beginning of the intro sequence, they refer to him as Mega Man X. Dr. Light himself does in those logs. So uh, if I call him Mega Man, it also it's the name of the game. Stop telling me I'm wrong on the internet. I'd hate that. I would rather die than be wrong on the internet. I'm never wrong on the internet. Stop it. But anyway, in all seriousness, if you want to call him X, you can. That's literally everyone in the game calls him X. That's fine. But what a run that was. It was so fast, I couldn't even really comment on a lot of stuff. The main gimmick here was getting that super good RNG and, uh, you know, doing the weapon skip thing and going right to the Sigma stages. That's always fun to watch. There were, of course, some great tricks and cool gameplay, but no major glitches as far as I could tell. But overall, I was still very impressed to see all what I saw. And I hope you guys are in the same boat. But anyway, yeah, that's the whole video. This was a very short one. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the all stages Mega Man X5 task. So we'll actually get to see the game and maybe some cool glitches. Isn't that fun? I hope that's fun because that's what we're going to do. And yeah, uh, the... the the Canada's tournament is very soon. It's in, uh, what, three and a half, two and a half hours, something like that? I think three, no, two and a half hours. The Canada's tournament. It's all tied up in first place, and there's a three-way tie for second place or a four-way We, Guys, after this video, we got to tune into the Chess Canada's tournament. I know you guys are interested in that. I've been playing chess since I was a kid, and by golly, I want to see who wins, and I hope it's not Nepo. And again, if, you, if you're <laughs> the one guy who watches my channel and keeps up with chess and is a fan of Jan Nepomnichi, uh, I apologize for the hate, but I also don't apologize because uh, he, sh he shouldn't win. He shouldn't win. I'm going to say it. Someone else should win. Sorry. Anyway, get out of here. We got a Chess Canada's tournament to watch.